What is up, all my kooky, cocky gamers? It's your boy, Mr. Road Rash. Today, we are back playing some more All Pro Football 2K8. Now, last week, we faced the Chargers. We lost. Close game. This week, we play the Dolphins. So, hopefully, I can get a win today. Feeling good. Feeling confident in our ability to win. So, I mean, I guess we'll find out. But, I really want to win. Gale save. Okay. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us here on the 2K Sports Network. Coming to you live from Municipal Stadium. Playing in their own stadium, we've got the Flippers. They'll be squaring off against the Pagans. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Here are today's lineups, and there are some real standouts, Peter. These two guys are unmatched. If you go up against them, you've gone up against the best. Just try to keep them from tearing the game open. It's the best you can hope for. On the other side, not to be outdone, we have just as many stars. Dan Marino and Dwight Stevenson are the standard bearers for the Flippers. These two stand side by side, shoulder to shoulder. One without the other wouldn't be nearly as successful. These are players you can build a team around. Yes, indeedy, Peter. Now let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Dapper Dan, let's do this. Gentlemen, I want heads. We'll take heads. Heads it is. No, it's a kick. We'll kick. The Pagans have won the toss and select a kick. All right, let's do a boot right. Hopefully we can get a good kick off today. Kind of touchy for me sometimes. Francis boots it downfield and we're underway. Blocker fields it way back at the two. Humble. Oh this my god. Get up, get up, get up, run! Right, he didn't run, but nice. Nice get to the game. Then watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented. It's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. Yeah, maybe get that man back down on the field. All right. Hopefully we can capitalize. Ramsey, get in there, Ramsey. You did all the work. <laughs> For the first. All right. This could be the earliest we've ever scored in the game. And we got a good fullback in there. He may run it himself or be a decoy. Jane. No, 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 no. On first down no, and no. the ball's loose. Rock touches him down for a touchback. Cedric Bond takes advantage of the crummy weather out there. He knows if he gets some hard contact, the ball carrier can't hang on to it. And now it's raining on his I parade. I myself Peter, so there hard. are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big time play. Johnson makes a oh. nice catch what? and is at the 30. Dan Marino has obviously got the arm to get the job done in tight spaces. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Marino just rifles this one, uh, uh, uh. and it's tipped incomplete. I forgot, it's freaking Dan Marino, so they're going to be passing a lot. Second and ten. Ball at the 47 yard. Come catch. on, man. And gets past the markers for Grant Clayton is just crazy good on this play, Dan. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else, I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. Great job. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, tight end to the left. Get him, make a fumble. Sims tackles him <laughs> for a short loss. Tim Sims targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up. There. That will bring up second down. Dupree oh, catches it on, over the middle. Dude. And he's got the first down and a hole. 
Dan Marino. Didn't have a lot of room to sneak that ball in there. Oh, I got to see this again. Yeah, the throw is a tight fit, but he and the receiver make it work. A great catch in traffic. Good vision, good timing on the play made that work. His first huge connection of the day was two inches from the sun, I swear. All right, settle down. Slight exaggeration there, big guy. All right, that was a big play. This Ooh. defense better watch themselves. Fred Marion gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Clayton makes the catch on the right okay. sideline oh, and picks up four on the play. Grant Clayton had a defender plain and close, but shook him at the last moment. You can't coach that. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. down. No, I fucked up. I fucked up. Please, no, get over there. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. They're gonna score that time. Marino goes into the left sideline, and the reception's I made my six. I thought I was losing my linebackers. I'm like, the back's not six. There's no one around to stop him, and what are the defenders doing out there? What? I mean, were they thinking he'd drop it? Uh, apparently, they, were they weren't they were even thinking at all. It makes you wonder how far away we are from substitutions in that secondary. That's the first score of the game, and it was very nicely done, Peter. Great execution there. It's good. Well, we did not capitalize on the fumble. We could not stop him from scoring. That's kind of a terrible start to the beginning of the Sherman game. <laughs> sends it down Hopefully field. we can stop him. Collins deals the kickoff at the one. Oh, that's one tackle man can be good. Nick Collins received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Pagans had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 23-yard line. Mork pitches the heater left sideline, okay. and that will be good for a gain of eight. Second and two from the Pagan 31 yard. Run, please. James <laughs> picked up about seven, and that brings up first down. Hunter James played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, uh, two tight I ends in the game. Soon, I know I Dugan did. makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Eric Dugan couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Yeah, Brzezinski no brings him down behind the line at the 35. Robert Brzezinski got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Open. Why was it much more open? But I didn't. <laughs> I don't want to get deflected if 49 can get over there fast. All right. Adam Evans throws right past the coverage and in. First down with a split backfield. Definitely trying to hope to get the B. We'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah, not happening. <laughs> We're going with. Definitely looking for B, hopefully. Open. No good. Incomplete. The rain has soaked the field, the ball, everything. Hard to complete passes in these conditions. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Not a lot of potential on that call. Yeah. 
Evans throws this one deep down the right sideline, and uh -huh. it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Rashad McNeil anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. It was third and very long, and it didn't look too hard Man, for the defense they... to stop that play right in its track. You know, Dan, All that's right. what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them into a hole, and then it's hard to climb out. Fourth down ahead. The Flippers oh. got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own six-yard line. Nathan will get the carry oh, on man. first down Dude. and <laughs> choose up about four on the play. Tony Nathan got a few extra yards by leaping out of danger. Nice move. They move the ball, and it will be second down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Flippers are out in front, seven to nothing. Past the markers for a first down. Billy Joe Dupree easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Way to get open. A well designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. In there. Marino no, sends it to the right side and it falls incomplete. Dan Marino didn't connect with the pass back there, and it's understandable. He got hammered right as the ball was leaving his hands. A rare incompletion. And the defense side a sigh of relief. But it's only the second quarter, Dan. The D has to hang tough. Get him. Plate. Is it in the oh, flat okay. and gains a couple. Grant Clayton faced single coverage there and was able to get by it for the reception. That's how you draw it up. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Marino throws a heater right side. Oh, I missed him. Oh, my God. Made for first and more. 40. Come on, man. Out of bounds at the 34. Dan Marino is just flat out awesome on this play. He sees his receiver across the field and just rockets it over there like a torpedo. There it is. It, it was such an accurate pass. That receiver didn't have to do anything but hold out his hands. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 136 yards and no interceptions. Eddie Blackwell couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. No, oh, I sacked him. The sack at the 38. Eddie Blackwell sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Yeah, monstrous D, the past few downs for these guys. Whoa. No, you smacked the ball away. Why are you trying to catch it? Third and long. Nathan gets past the line and maybe picks up one on the play. Tony Nathan used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Saxon back at the 21. The there ain't no chance they're gonna get. 
third and 12. Marino zips it to the left sideline and uh, it's tipped. I wish it incomplete. Exactly. That will bring up fourth down. Sherman again for the field goal attempt. 21 yard line. Strong on the hole. Sherman kicks from 38 oh, yards out and him. he knocks it through the upright. William Sherman sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. Sherman sends it downfield. Collins catches it back at the one. Chase down at the 36. Not a bad return. Nick Collins is going to take this well. The Pagans can climb back into it with a score it. before the half here. <laughs> They'll start this drive at their 36-yard line. Star bangs the dart right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Second down, one man back. Evans gets all of his arm into this pass, uh, and uh, it's tipped incomplete. Bill Jensen knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Morgan. Oh, thank you, Morgan. They get the first on third and long. And he went out of bounds. Bill Jensen so makes the play, play here, but not fast minute. enough. This one's gonna. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't. Oh, it's a good play. It's a good play. Get it off. Get it off. Dude, get up to the damn. First and ten. From Will Flipper, forty-nine yards. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> the clock will continue to run. James Bowman got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Evans got hit as he threw that one, and that will be an incomplete pass. Adam Evans got some big pressure back there, and that affected the throw. That would have set up a very manageable third and short play, Peter, but they couldn't sync up on that one. That's a tough break. Tough break. I hate work this time. Oh, but did not get them. <laughs> that takes them even farther away from the marker. Oh, It'll be fourth down. Campbell lines up for the punt. I'm just gonna kill the clock all the way down as much as I can. For 20 seconds, you're gonna sit here and hear my voice and wonder, should I really be watching this right now? Is this really what entertainment is for me? And some of you might say no and click off, but I've already, yeah, I have done it. So you guys stay here. Thank you. I hope maybe I can get a win. <laughs> Turn around in the second half. You know, I, I mean, we'll find out. Hopefully. Campbell takes the long snap and hits a beauty. Walker fields the deep punt at the oh, 16. Scoop me out of my damn shoes. At the 31. Franklin Walker gets a long, long punt heading his way. Gets it and doesn't get a whole heck of a lot more. Good job by the kicking squad there. The Flippers come out on offense and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 31 yard line. Nathan will get the carry on first down and picks up a couple. Blackwell was shaken up earlier and we've gotten a report on his condition. What did oh, they say? Like to go to the half. Well, after talking with the team doctors, our producer said it appears that he's got a pinched nerve in his back. He's currently getting rubbed down to try to ease that pain, but his return is questionable. 
That's Peter. Second down. Ooh. Eight yards to go. Clayton makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Oh. Grant Clayton came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Marino throws this one right sideline, and the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Grant Clayton got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. They get some yards out of that play, but they are short and didn't get quite the punch they wanted to. Robbins takes the snap and hits a beauty. Fryer catches it at the 15. Right, I got one bar, maybe. Maybe it'll work out. The trick play. The Pagans take the field with the clock at 12. I'll to work once. I know I can. <laughs> Evans throws this one way down over the middle. And oh, my God. Big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Ten. Oh, my God. I am a legend. I am a freaking legend at this game. <laughs> oh, I was so nervous he was going to get run down. Adam Evans launches this baby a long way. Let's baby. watch the replay. Oh, he's got some arm. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so epic. far, he's got 127 yards and one Ooh. touchdown. Ooh. That was nice. All right. Anyways, hopefully we can get this field goal. the extra point and All right. it's good Ooh, that made me very nervous but I'm glad I scored Francis sends it downfield I wanted to make sure it was Locker in the field of play so it was at the ten. Oh my god, but someone gets him. <laughs> All right. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Flippers with a small lead, 10 to 7. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Let's take a look at our halftime stats, and boy, oh boy, the numbers look pretty even right across the board. The Flippers, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Brzezinski would turn things around. Big shift in momentum here as he pounced on a fumble, and the defense recovered. Later on in the first, Johnston ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. A 27-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Towards the end of the first quarter, the Pagans behind by seven. Evans went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. The Flippers later in the second. Clayton came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. That set up a 39-yard field goal. The Flippers winning 10 to nothing. Morton is going to find an opening in the secondary and he'll exploit it here. A 78-yard touchdown for the visitors. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Flippers are holding on to a lead 10 to 7. Excellent job, Dan. Epic the Pagans job, Dan. Will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. It is. Currently, it is. they're down ten to seven. Let's get down to the field and the action. Let's. Hopefully, I can score on this drive. I really hope I can. Maybe even a touchdown, not just a field goal, and we can go up. It'd be nice. Sherman boots the second half kickoff away. Collins fields the second half kickoff at the one. Juice. Oh. <laughs> at the <laughs> Nick Collins got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Pagans bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 22 yard line. Louis, Louis, quick back, quick back, quick back. 22, switch. <laughs> 
Oh, Evans didn't work out. Unloads this to the right side. That line, almost did. It's knocked away from the receiver. Incomplete. Adam Evans threw an incomplete pass there. You know, maybe that's lucky since there were two defenders in that zone. It looks like they're massaging it, but with time running low, it's unlikely that he'll be ready to return. Thanks, Peter. I don't know what that injury was for who, James but okay. Picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Hunter James didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had to help with some blocking. So I guess the defense I really had their number. Well, not the, much of a game the line will hold up, so Y or LB can get over third and long too. Then big play coming up. Evan he was not open, but right like, okay, but it hit his hands. All right, well. incomplete. Mark Starr. As we check out the replay, Dan, you can see that he can't quite get his hands around this mid-range rocket. There, it's incomplete, and Peter... Peter, he should freaking catch that. Campbell takes the snap and punts it away. Walker fields the deep punt at the 31. Stop at the 34. Franklin Walker got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Flippers take the field and will start out at their 34-yard line. Marino zings it to the right side, and he's on oh, target for a gain of five. The cut in my defense the pass perfectly, zeroing short in on passes, his man despite passes, the short coverage. Passes in there. You know, it's all about accuracy oh, wow. in that situation. He's been on point with the short pass so Looking far, Dan. Them. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Nathan is at the 50. I mean, I knew where it was going to be. I still kept back up. Dude! Oh, my God. 15. Come on, get him. God damn. It'll be first. Dan, this is really a tremendous run here. It all starts with getting up to speed extremely fast before the D can really get it together. The blocking helps him get a little momentum going, and then he's smart enough to make the right running choices downfield. Oh, he's so dangerous when he busts loose like that. A highlight real play. A big run there. Okay, and you know, that's the first time he's really broken out all game, Peter. He was definitely held in check in the first half. Yeah, but he's busted loose in a major way. Clayton tackles him for a short loss. Down! Six! There ain't no comeback plan for you! Listen up! So, uh, it actually kind of sucks because now they can kind of run past oh, it. And, you better get rid of that pretty quick and next but. time. I like them being close enough to where they feel like they have to run. See? That's why I want Chips to be a closer we would have sacked him. Grant Clayton is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skill. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. The point after and it's good all right down my 10 back a little before the second half damn sherman sends it downfield collins catches it back at Run. the one 22. Nick Collins got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Pagans stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 22-yard line. Starr makes the catch no. on the right sideline and picks up four on the play. See if we can get that run game going. James takes the handoff and runs into traffic. Third down with the tight end, right. You 
Where is the hold and what was that? You pushed up. Not hold. You pushed up. I saw it. <laughs> God dang it. Bill Jensen brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Campbell gets the snap and punts it away. Walker fields the punt at the 32. Tackled at the 34. Franklin Walker didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Flippers got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at the 34-yard line. Nathan right, the like they're going to put 2 o'clock down. I mean, they are winning by 10. So the play. Tony Twice. Nathan had blockers on his Sucks. side on that Sucks. last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down. Oh, my God. Why are you running so... Field. Marino lets it go here, and the reception's made at the 39, and he's stopped right there. A flag is I don't get why the guy's fucking sprinting as I'm trying to move him around. Adam Williams was lined up on the ball, and the ref called him on it. That's a neutral zone infraction. Second and three from Will Flipper, 40 yards. Down! Nathan loses I mean, about to do that. And that brings up third. LeBaron Tippins saw where that play was going right away and stopped it cold for a loss of yardage. A beautiful hit on that one. He really brought some thunder with him. And he rained on the offense's hopes of gaining some yards. In fact, the rest of this drive may get a little overcast. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that all much right. harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might Hopefully face. Punch third and long. Half. Marino I'm throws a heater, and the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. It'll be fourth down. Robbins gets ready to punt it away. Robbins <laughs> takes the snap <laughs> and punts it away. Fryer takes it at the 30. Stop at the 34. The Pagans have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their 34-yard line. LB was open for a while. I, was, I thought it was wild, so it was wild. Yeah. Incomplete. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Flippers enjoying the lead 17 to 7. Flippers 17. Oh my god, another fumble. Stop right there. Rashad McNeil battles the ball carrier's cage there, so much so that the football comes loose. And then since he isn't the one who just got his bell rung, he's alert enough to recover the fumble. That is the second forced fumble of the game, and the defense is making it clear that you better hold on to the ball. Yeah, the thing is, they're trying. We've just seen some monstrous hits out there. Marino fires this one over the middle, and it's knocked down at the line incomplete. Ricky Henderson swatted that pass away right at the line. Here we go. You know, that? Peter, okay. if this Don't were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up, and the D keeps sending it back. Nathan gets the call on second down, and right. we'll end up losing a bunch here. Adam Williams read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Big stop, baby. Third and 13. Get him. Williams takes the hit in the backfield at the 37. Fourth down coming up. It really is a punt, huh? I was wondering. It's right on the edge of it. Let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Good defense that's forced. Two losses in a row. Still in it. We just got to score quick, stop him and score. So it is possible. 
Robbins gets the snap and aims this one out of bounds. This will fly out of bounds at the 11. Al Robbins did a good job angling the punt out of bounds, so the offense will start off stuck inside the 20. The Pagans haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 12-yard line. Evans rifles this one hard over the middle and it's caught at 32. Finally stopped at the 45. First down. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> no one's going to be in the middle. I'm going to keep throwing to the middle. First down from the shotgun. Right, the middle. Oh, we're moving out of the middle. Evans really oh, I should have lobbed. I should have lobbed it. It's tipped. Incomplete. Zen Langston read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Blackwell oh, makes a play on this oh, and right. forces so bad. the incompletion. Eddie Blackwell knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That right. will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. God dang it. Tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Robert Brzezinski anticipated the trajectory Please. of that pass. I'm so it bad at kicks, but I was in the last place. moment. Great play. Deep That's seven. the yeah. second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. And it Francis Ooh. kicks from 40 yards out, and it's, shot. it's through the goal post. Dave Francis rockets this one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got plenty of room on either side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it. I'm not going to get the inside. I don't want them to be close enough to be able to. Francis kicks it away. Or get a field goal or anything, so. The Flippers let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. The Flippers take the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Nathan takes it for his 11th carry and heads wide right. right. Stopped at the 18. Tim Sims read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Nate, the Pagans take their first time off. Nathan carries it. The Pagans will take a time out. That's their second. All right, we got a shot. Might be able to get two plays off if I go a pass and if it's complete for the half, so that'd be nice. You have the two minute warning. Robbins gets the snap and hits a beauty. Pryor fields the deep punt at the 36. Tackled at the 42. Irving Pryor got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. All right, we do got a shot. Check, go, 16, check, go, 
Dawson, reels Dawson stay on your feet. That's good for a gain of five. <laughs> Thought I could get it off. I couldn't. Second down. The clock is stopped at two minutes. Zips it to the left sideline and oh, it's get out of bounds. First down, three <laughs> wideouts in the game. Flipper, 43 yards. They're going there. They're going there. Okay, well, that's not working very, very bad. We won't do that again. Brzezinski came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception. Oh, for this is getting ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Evans Open. throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 39. Ooh, okay. Eventually shoved out at... Victor Jones makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. First down, one man back. Oh, that would have been open. I just waited. Catches the heater left sideline, and the clock continues to wind down. Evans throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made. And the clock continues to Please wind Please stop down. falling down, Third OB. Down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. You're open again. Jones catches it left sideline, and they convert on third down. Evans uncorks this to the left lucky. I got lucky there. I got lucky there. Probably would have been open though. <laughs> Bill Jensen gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Star snags the dart right oh, side line, and that will stop the clock at 44. Oh, I could feel it. Let's hold. You're open. Rifles it oh, out left no. side and it's Why? his fingertips incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Irving Fryer almost brought that baby in, but it was just off his fingers. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down then. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, and they're going for it. I, this one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. Oh, I messed up. I don't know how the quarterback could see his target, let alone hit him. The sky is simply dropping bucketfuls on these guys. The offense just cannot come up Damn. with a conversion. They knew they needed a TD to catch up. Yeah, they had to go for it, but that's got to eat at this team that they couldn't deliver. Hey, man, there's a chance, right? Maybe they fumble or something. <laughs> Marino takes a right, knee, a and game. that will do it. Uh, well, that why? Loss will bring up third down, so but good. they can't be too worried about it. God They're still eating it. up the clock. Why? What? Let that happen. I don't even want to pick a play because there's no point. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> well, Dan, they're not going to hurry here, and there's really no reason to. We're going right, to well, take I'll as much time as possible. Well, I'm going to let go, but uh, bye-bye. And that is going to do it for this one. The Flippers come out on top 17 to 10. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Nathan would find some running room on this one, and then it was off to the races. A 61-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Flippers now up by 10. Now early in the fourth quarter, Brzezinski is going to have a bead on this fumble, and he's right there to get his hands on it. Still in the fourth quarter, the Pagans behind by 10. Waters emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. They climb back again and are now down by, by 7. The Pagans, late in the fourth quarter, Evans went up top on a third down play and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that will do it. The Flippers squeaked out a win, 17 to 10. Okay, here's your 2K Sports player of the game. Dan Marino elevated his game like he always does. What a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talent. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on.